<laughs> it is too early. Okay, <laughs> he's filthy. I've got nothing positive to say about <laughs> who's on his PR team. <laughs> that I talk to God about it. I pray to God about it. Sit down. You might have the the qualification, but you need to have the skills to be able to deal with people on a daily basis. This is exactly what DJ Zinta was talking about. And now she say, I could have charged Grinile fifty thousand. I could have. Oh, wow. Sent her an email requesting to work from home. Let me tell you why she wants to work from home. Because it's cold. <laughs> Saying, I want all the things that I gave to you back. I was hacked. I was hacked. My phone was hacked. Unamangawena. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is my take on controversial trending topics. I'm so excited to have you over. As always, thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Thank you so much to all the support that you have given me, my channel, and all my social media platforms. I really do appreciate it. Let me silence my phone, chat. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And to all the new members that are in the membership space, I really do appreciate all the support that you show over there. There is videos galore on that space. So if you want extra content from me, there's extra life updates, there's fun videos, there's extra bonus vlogs that you don't get to see on the main space as well. So definitely, definitely join the membership space. It's in the link in my description box below. I do know that some of you aren't able to join the membership space because of where you are in the world and hopefully YouTube can rectify that at some point but for now I do appreciate all the likes the subscribes and watching the ads and watching the videos please make sure you watch the ads and like the videos it goes such a long way to supporting my channel so we are here today with controversial trending topics I am drinking some peppermint tea because it, it is too early okay so I wrote a list down of all the things that you want me to talk about on today's episode of my take controversial topics and let's get started the first one is a big one that's all over the world the p diddy and cassie video so while i watch it you guys can watch it as well or little clips that uh, you can see and then we'll get into it Okay, so this is a very, very upsetting video to watch. And the first time that I watched it was a few weeks ago when it dropped at this point at the time of the recording of this video. And let me tell you, my blood was absolutely boiling. It was boiling. Amidst all of the controversy that is around P. Diddy at this time, um, it's, all the th I'll write them down because I really don't want to be flagged or I don't want my video not to be pushed up because of some of the things that I'll say on here. So the allegations of SA, the allegation of him being a P3 profile, uh, the allegations of the things that he did at his uh, frickadicky parties and the trafficking, all of those things, I'll write them down in the video here. So... I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And it hurts me a lot to actually say that I'm not surprised that he treated her this way. Especially when she released a whole entire... Like there was an explanation in the lawsuit that she put out to um, Diddy. Um, and, you know, when she was suing him and all of that, the lawsuit that she did. There was a lot of these things that were communicated and explained in that lawsuit and we all got access to it i read it online and i when this video came out which was a lot of time after that because we know that he settled that lawsuit for like i don't know 30 million dollars in a day in a day 
for me, that proved to me that this guy knows exactly what kind of information that Cassie has on him and he did not want it to come out into the public space. He's filthy. I've got nothing positive to say about Diddy. I've never really been somebody who supports Diddy or listens to his music or follows any of his business ventures. I actually just don't really follow celebrity culture in that way. However, I do whatever I find out, whatever I read and all of this. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, huh? wow. Um, but this one definitely, definitely upset me a lot because one of the things that Cassie did mention in her response I think it was on Instagram where she was thanking everybody for the support that everybody had shown her and all of this. She did also say believe victims first. And I think that's one of the things that celebrity culture, pop culture, society nowadays, we all find ourselves in this place where we want to question first before we believe. And when this video came out, it just explained everything. It sort of sealed the stamp on Diddy's just annihilation, basically. And am I happy that he's getting annihilated? Absolutely. She. Considering all of the children, the people that he has allegedly done all these heinous and horrendous things to, am I glad that he's being annihilated? Absolutely. Day by day by day, just a day ago, I was listening to the news and they were saying that some things have been found in his house. Not, not the documents that were seized a while ago, but like some underground tunnels that were found in his house. And in those tunnels were sacrificial altars. Yeah where you could see that things were being, you know, there was some <laughs> boloi, basically, some, some voodooism um, and human remains and all of that. This is frightening stuff. This is frightening stuff. So when this video, okay, I was asked to speak on the video. It's disgusting. There's really nothing more to say apart from the fact that this man is vile and he's a horrible human being. And when he then came out with his sorry, just useless excuse of an apology, I just thought to myself, well, <laughs> who's on his PR team? <laughs> <laughs> who is on your PR team, sir? Because at this point, your PR team should have been the first people to tell you who Sabu next. Yes. Don't say anything. Just let this thing play out. We're going to do what we're going to do with the lawyers and the PR in the background. You just shut your mouth. At this point, I don't understand why he's not even behind bars. I don't get it. But it seems like there is movement, forward movement to criminally indicting him. So that's good. That's good. But why isn't he behind bars as we speak? It leads you to believe that some people who are in powerful positions, the Weinsteins of the world, the Epsteins of the world, people that are in powerful positions and have a lot of money at their disposal can make things go away. Unfortunately, in Diddy's case right now, you can't make anything go away. It's, it's, it's the, 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 the ground. <clears throat> the hole in the ground has been dug so deep that there is no way to fill it up and make this one go away. Okay. He is in it to lose it. You know, he's not in it to win it. He's in it to lose it. And I love to see it for him. <laughs> They use power and money to silence people. And for me, this was just very, very upsetting to watch. And then he comes out with his ridiculous apology video. And I'm thinking, you're not even apologizing. What are you doing? I'm not asking for forgiveness. Then what are you doing? Girl, shut up. You are making things worse. What are you doing? Because if he is seeing that this tape or clip from this hotel has now come out and he's seeing it he's not even apologizing he's not even using or saying her name he's just saying that i talked to god about it i prayed to god about it i spoke to the heaven lord alpha and omega almighty and i had my moment with him and we talked and we prayed sit down sit down 
several times. The next one is <laughs> the DJ Zintle. I was asked to speak about this one. The DJ Zintle uh, unemployment podcast interview that she did. And she spoke about um, unemployment. And she spoke about the fact that the problem is the youth is unemployable. Watch this. Because we talk about it all the time. The one thing about the South African youth is not just that they're they are unemployed a lot of them are unemployable they don't Yo. have the skill that is required it it, bug, it bugs me how how long it takes for us to fill in positions as era just to find the right person for our stores it, it literally takes longer than it should in a country that has so much un unemployment we're opening yeah. a store at highfield i think in Whitbank. we're just looking for three people to work at the store in Whitbank. it is is it Whitbank, Highfield? It's crazy. It's impossible. You would think, like, I haven't had a PA for such a long time. Because mm. every time I find a PA, it doesn't work out because maybe they just can't keep up with... Can I Can I propose that maybe the issue is not skill? anything. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Ah, uh, Eman. Ah, uh, Eman. Ah, uh, Eman. Ah, uh, I, 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 I. A hundred and ten thousand percent agree with DJ Zinte. I agree. Here's the thing about being unemployed with the degrees and the education and the skills and all of this. And because of the way that our economy and our society is set up currently right now. Yes, unemployment is at its highest. I feel like it's sitting at 39.1 percent or something currently. Or even more at this point because I really don't know that's one thing but the thing is then you have people who do have these degrees but they are unemployable because they do not have the necessary skills to be able to be employed and carry themselves out in a dignified manner as somebody who is employed let me tell you something there are certain things that you can do and can't do. You need to learn not just the books, not just the, the, the studies and all of that. You need to learn things like communication skills. You need to learn that if you are in the business in which DJ Zinte is in, where she's hiring people to, 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 to be in her stores and uh, at, attend to her customers and all of this retail people, you need to have skills. You might have the, the qualification, but you need to have the skills to be able to deal with people on a daily basis. You need to have the skills to be able to know what the next move is when it comes to a discontent customer or a customer who is not happy about ABCZ or a customer who talks down to you or talks down to the brand or is disrespectful. You need to know how to produce the skills to be able to deal with that in a professional manner. And a lot of them do not have that. That is why she is saying that unemployable. We are so quick to be in celebrities business and trash Zinte for what she said. But to be honest, if you think about it, Gunile's lawyer, for instance, come on, man. Come on, man. If you are not familiar with what Gnile's lawyer has done, because we're going to get to uh, the Gnile and Khrotman saga. I was asked to speak about that. But if you are not familiar with what Gnile's lawyer did after this whole Khrotman and Gnile situation, revenge P-O-R-N situation came out, she went on to a TikTok live. Her lawyer went on to a TikTok live. And this is what she said. That when I saw the videos of Tkinile, she knows I told her, Gusi, I've always been one of the people that are always saying, Gusi, this girl is the biggest papaya that I've ever met in my life. You truly are, by the way, Tkinile. But... <laughs> Imagine your lawyer who is dealing with your case, no matter what the case may be, criminal, civil, Listen, we're in arbitration, we're in litigation, we're wherever. No matter what the case may be, how will you feel 
having your lawyer. And the craziest thing is I only found out yesterday that Kanile was actually sitting next to her lawyer while the lawyer was doing this TikTok live. And I was like, unemployable. This is exactly what DJ Zintler was talking about. As a lawyer, you sign certain privacy and confidentiality clauses, much like doctors sign the, the oath, right? Much like there's certain things you cannot be putting out there. And now she's saying, I could have charged the nearly 50,000. I could have. What? Oh, wow. I cringed watching that. And it took me back to exactly what DJ Zinke was saying about how the youth is unemployable. You cannot get to a business and professional sitting, wherever it is, whether you're at your job, whether whatever, a business space and conduct yourself in such manners. You just can't. If one of DJ Zintler's clients comes in and says, oh, look, my watch, something like this happened and I bought it two days ago, what, 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 what? You can't then respond, but when saying, did you drop it? That's not how you respond. That's not how you conduct yourself in a professional setting. One of the other things that trended on TikTok, I think about two weeks ago, it wasn't really trending, but a lady was talking about, she works in the HR department and she was talking about one of the colleagues, the people that she works with, sent her an email requesting to work from home. Let me tell you why she wants to work from home. Because it's cold. <laughs> she wants to work from home every day, Monday to Friday, she wants to also start working from 10 o'clock, not 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, depending on how versatile the, the work hours are. She wants to start at 10 and then still knock off at 4. Make it make sense. You want to work from home every day, but you want to start from 10 o'clock and knock off at 4 o'clock because it's cold. And you don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. and leave the comfort of your bed at 5 a.m. Guys, I'll read it to you. Greetings, ma'am. I hope this email finds you well. As winter is approaching, I'm writing to request to work from home from 1 June to 31 August 2024. Winter is the coldest and darkest season. And I just don't see myself getting out of my warm, cozy bed at 5 a.m. each workday to come to work during this season. If my request is approved, I will be available on call and email throughout our working hours from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays to Fridays to provide updates on my progress and ensure, I mean, thank you for doing HR that favor. Thank you so much. And ensure that all my tasks will be promptly worked on. I have attached my work plan for your review. <laughs> 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 it's in the second one where she says, I think she wants to start from 10 o'clock or something like that. And yeah, if this is a ridiculous request, could we possibly come to work later? Like maybe 10 a.m. when it's not as cold? <sighs> Unemployer bull. What makes you feel like as somebody who works for a certain establishment or a certain company to write an email of that nature to HR and actually expect HR to take you seriously? <laughs> that, that's, that's my chance. Because if I was in HR, I would have cracked. I would have cracked the fuck up with that email. <laughs> Unemployable. There's certain ways in which you conduct yourself in a professional setting. And some of these skills are life skills that include communication skills, that include learning skills about how to respond to emails, how to be professional. Listen, there's platforms like ChatGPT. It's doing the absolute most for people. It's doing wonders for people. ChatGPT. And here you are wanting to be given a later start time, 
but finish at the very same time that you normally do <sighs> because it's cold <laughs> but off of the back of that Gnile and Khrutman so if you do not know this situation there was a SEX tape that was released on Twitter now, Kunile and Khrutman were these, Khrutman is known to be a scammer and all of this. These are things that I don't follow that much, so I won't even be able to articulate myself. But he scammed people of money, lots and lots of money. Um, and he dated a girl or was in a relationship with a woman by the name of Kunile. Their relationship trials, drama, tribulations were up and down on social media, along with all the nice things that they did or the luxury lifestyle that they lived where they would constantly be in branded clothing and Khrutman would buy Kunile uh, a car and all of this and buy her all these wonderful things. And... Um, people's money he was chowing people's money basically he was basically saying invest your money in this and then mlm kind of vibes and then in the next three months you're going to get this back from it you know pyramid -y. you get my chat so he got into this relationship with Danile. it got sour turned sour Danile, they got back together on and off, on and off. Eventually, she moves on. And it seems like she's now in this great relationship. She's happy. She's seeing someone new, traveling with this person, doing all these wonderful things. Khrutman doesn't like it. Khrutman. Agai Tandi. So he then decides and proceeds to... Um, send her messages on her Instagram, on her phone, all of this saying, I want all the things that I gave to you back, all the luxury lifestyle that you lived knowing how I make my money. Basically alluding to the fact that Kunile was aware of the life that Khrutman was living and the people that he'd scammed of their money and that he was chowing the money with her. So basically implicating her in his scamming ways as well. And then he says, if you do not give me back all my things, including my ring light. That took me out. That took me out. <laughs> including the ring light that I bought for you. If you do not give me back all these things, I will release a tape of our intimate moments together. And sure enough, within a day or two, the tape drops. And when it drops, he then comes out to say, I was hacked. I was hacked. My phone was hacked. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. You said it straight. Uguti, if you do not. Bring me back all the things that I bought for you, all the things that I did for you, and my ring light. Please, let's not forget the ring light. I will release. And suddenly, the tape goes viral. And we see Kunile in her wonder, glory, and beauty. And she's doing all these things. And her picture is in the frame. And her face, sorry, her face is in the frame. Everything. We can just see that it's her. I was unfortunately, quite sadly, uh, I came across the tape and I saw it. And of course, the South African Twitter space, TikTok space, people went crazy over this. And someone wants to know my thoughts on it. First and foremost, why are you guys shooting content, recording content? You know, I've said this before. I've said this before so many times. Why are you guys recording yourselves doing the things? And if you are going to record yourselves, because each to their own, okay? Each to their own. If you are going to record yourselves doing all of these glorious things, why is your face in the frame? Why is your face in the frame? Hide your face. Yes. So that you can deny, deny, deny and plead the fifth. You're going to have a problem if you're somebody with tattoos.
Because this, you'd have to hide all of that too, right? But why are you recording this content? And I genuinely feel like she should go after him for all he is worth. What the problem then becomes is that it's going to become really messy because he implicated her. He implicated her in this fraudulent lifestyle that he's been living, saying that she's very, alluding to the fact that she's very well aware of the life that he's been living and she's been doing it and she's been eating the money and she's been and she's been. So he alluded to the fact that she's very well aware of what's going on. So it's going to become really, really messy. But my question is, why are you guys doing this thing? My heart breaks for her. No one wants all their goodies for show for the whole South Africa and many other places in the world to see. No one wants that. These are things that you do in the intimate privacy of your home and your bedroom or whatever, wherever you guys choose to be, you know, having your fun. These are things that happen in the intimate spaces of your home, your life, all of that. And now it's out there for the whole world to see. It's okay. Look, I'm, I'm very liberal in my thinking in the sense that if you want to shoot stuff like that, that's, I don't recommend it. Because these things end up in email threads, on X, on TikTok, on all of this, because somebody is scorned. All because this little boy who scams people for a living, is scorned at the fact that you've moved on and you're happy. Now they want to expose all of those things. Because this guy, what he's doing is nothing new here. He's always proved to be quite problematic, especially when it comes to his relationship with Dini. He's always proved to be very problematic. He'll leave her, he'll speak ill of her, he'll insult her online. He will outwardly just, 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 just date someone else while he's with her. He would bring other women into the home that he shares with her. And this is the mother of his child. He's proved from a very long time ago that he's problematic. Are we surprised that this has happened? I'm not. She I'm needs just... to go for him. She needs to sue and literally drag him for filth. And all bats are off. If somebody is going to have the goal, the gumption, to release tape of yours in a private moment, all bats are off. She should be <coughs> released. All the things that you know about his scamming ways, about his this, this, about this, this. And if you know that you are not personally and, and, and um, directly involved in his scamming ways, release, drag him for filth. Aye, Lilona. Aye. Women are not safe anywhere. You're not even, apparently, you're not even safe in your private spaces where you feel like you can be intimate with someone without them going off and running their mouths like little boys. No, Lily. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this one up here because I know that it's going to be long and I've got a few more to go. So we're going to start part two after this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about DJ Zintler's statements, about how she had to apologize, about the P. Diddy situation, the Gunil and Khrutman saga. Let's talk about that. I'm going to start part two now. So thank you so much for watching. As always, watch the ads, like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video. Join the membership space if you care. And I'll see you in part two. Until the next one, sayonara.